Hello, Hello welcome. this is Link on Air and Mike, and we are going to be playing um, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Well, technically we already played this, this is post-commentary. And we're wrapping up our, um, uh, what was it, the matches we were having in Arena 1? We're, yeah, we're wrapping up our Arena 1 tie with a quick run back. Actually, it's the first five matches, because I want it to be tournament style and, you know, first to three wins. Uh, needless to say, it got kind of frustrating at one point. We'll explain when we get to that, but... Yeah, here's the first match. Yeah. Chie versus Teddy. Yeah. He's Teddy. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm left, he's two. right. I'm in the player two slot, and again, I played with a Comba Q4 dual modded arcade stick, and he played on an ordinary PS3 plat. So, um, I balanced out the difficulty. You had second player disadvantage, and I had first player advantage. But you have the control pad, so... Wait, advantage, what? Well, it's considered an advantage to be on the left. Yeah. And that's okay. considered an advantage in the fighting game. It varies, actually. Not necessarily, because, uh... I think this game's pretty well made for it, but... And this game looks better with missing frames. Yeah, it does. It really does. It just looks like it's too fast for actual play, though. Like, watching it, great. Actually trying to play. Nah. Chie in this game is... Weird. Yeah, everything in this game is a tad wacky, if we're honest. For some reason, I was just struggling with dealing with Teddy in this match. Yeah. And I don't think I tech a throw these, this entire set of matches. I got, did I win the first round? Did yeah, you do? totally do. All right, you I win mean, the first round. You win the entire I first match. I won with the power of Spatsu. I guess. Spats for the win. I don't even pretend to know. I probably didn't bring my fetishes into this. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not. That's <laughs> not really a fetish. It can be. I guess. You're, You're telling me this really locked you down. Yeah, so I couldn't get... I tried to dash, and then... Every time I tried to start with hitting you, you just... <laughs> and I'm like, what the... You just ended your freaking combo, and you started the other one immediately. How? Why? I couldn't start Jack. It was frustrating. See, every time I tried to start something, you would just... Teddy hits too fast, I think. Just a bit. Again, I think Chie got slowed down ever so slightly. A bit too much, really. Chie was fine before. Even with the closing move, it didn't require her to be yeah. slowed down. Although you are much better executionally at this game than I am. What do you mean? Um... You actually know what you're doing, so your combos don't consist of you hit confirming into the auto combo. I try to avoid auto comboing as much as possible. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing well enough. I won this round entirely because of that awaken that I didn't know how to use. I don't know if us knew what happened there. Oh no, I lost because I picked the wrong super there. Oh, I actually won the first round. Yeah, you won the entire first match. I just thought it went to round three. Ah, alright. Round four is when I won again. Yeah, basically. Because what had happened was, thanks to the power of, apparently, I don't know the t supers, I picked the wrong one. And for some reason, he chose to use Narukami for the next four rounds. Well, I thought we were playing Super Serial, so I played Why did you play Teddy first? Because you said we should play our best characters from the old game first. Fair enough. Like from the old game. Uh, and well, I was Hiko was the best from the previous game. Mm -hmm. Teddy was my best. From, Teddy was my best from our previous set of matches, which is what I was running on, mentally. Fair enough. I still wish you would have come with someone other than Narukami the whole time. Yeah, if I would have realized that you you were switching for a raisin, I probably would have. I thought you would have picked up on that pretty soon. Nah, I was too- I was in- I was in focus mode, and I was just- I, thought I, this, was, playing, I was playing to win. I thought this would be a fun match just because they both have essentially the same persona. Yeah. And it was a pretty close match. I can't figure out. I think I was having trouble executing certain moves. It wasn't yeah. picking up on input. Yeah, you kept you kept going too fast, and then you'd screw yourself up. Yeah. Cause that's the problem with like Narukami's Thunder God Dance is that um, cause I watched a video on it because I was curious when you mentioned it because it's uh, new to Ultimax and it's a super that none of us hits in, neither of us hits in this video, but it's a super that you then have to combo into manually, and it's difficult and frustrating as hell. I was really hoping this would reach into the third round, but I knew you were going to go for that jump right yeah. there. That was beautiful. Yeah, that was a perfect read. 
How did I not know that anyway? Oh, uh, you just kind of guessed because I talked about dive kicks for like a lot. God, a lot of my stuff is just poor execution. I just kind of got bodied out at that point. Yeah, no, uh, I think you take this round, actually. I feel like this goes to three rounds, or I bring it back, I don't know. I think you bring it back. Yeah, I brought it back because I was awakened, so I was getting cross slash on my combos instead of uh, Zeodyne, and that helped immensely. Oh, I actually got you with Gas Whale. Well. You did? Oh, man, neither of us remembered this. It's a shame I lost this round. Oh, well. I did make it up by the first yeah. round. Although, yeah. I kind of still want to call it the fifth round, the fifth match a draw, but. Eh. Yeah. That's not fair to say that. God, this was a tense moment right there where I was just. We were both just like on pixel. Did I oh, win the first I, round? Yeah, you won the first round with Chie. And, uh, no, I mean, that's. Oh, no, I won the first round. Oh, okay. We went to, we went to, I think we went all three rounds in this, if I'm not mistaken. I could be totally wrong, though. I really wish that um, down circle for Adachi was uh, overhead. Yeah. I find it odd that it isn't. I mean, it comes directly above you. Yeah, I think it's a weird thing where the hitbox doesn't actually connect with the move until it's low. Which is dumb, but, you know. I haven't quite nailed Adachi's range, but I know I yeah. think I will love this character once I can get the hang of him. Yeah, and if and if and you guys who uh, actually know how this game works are in for a ride, because I essentially spend the next four matches doing a lot of those lightning dives. I remember because uh, I was basically mentally I was playing on the fact that he was gonna fall for it a lot, and he did a lot. Although that made one match is really interesting when he managed to not necessarily guess that I would do it, but counter it really effectively. You got that stabby thing twice, actually. Oh, I did. That's a really hard move to execute, too, because you have to throw at least your persona to do it. What? At least your persona open. Don't that, boss moves? Because that's a grapple persona attack. Oh, that's a grab, okay. At least those were both close rounds. Yeah. Do, do I play with Kanji in this? I feel like I do at some point. Mm, you don't play it here. I think we played this. I think you played Kanji during the practice round. Yeah, I did play Kanji during practice. I don't think I've ever actually. You used Narukami four times. Hey. Throw me nuts. Eh, can't be helped. You didn't. You d if you don't explicitly say, hey, maybe you should switch characters for the sake of making things more. I thought you would have changed stuff up anyway. No, I'm trying to win. I don't give a fuck. I don't think four matches with five matches with the same characters would have been much fun either. Actually, yeah. How? Because you learn the matchup more as you go, so you start changing and adapting. Mm. I.e., let's say you stuck with Risei the whole time, and just kept punishing the hell out of my lightning dives the way you were, I would have eventually quit doing them for the most part. I probably would have actually started switching to more fireball stuff. Ironically, that's what got me in the end of this. Oh yeah, the first fireball I threw. This I almost won that match, too. Yeah. And then I would have ended with more of it. Yeah? Oh god, didn't I get the timer scam here, or did you get- I think we both got the timer on the first round. Yeah, no, I think I got the timer- I really like Rosette's place, so I was yeah. worried that she would suck, but she doesn't. Oh no, I she's good. What type of character is she set up? I think she is. Uh, right? she's set up in zoning, yeah. Same thing with, like, uh, Yukari, who I use later, and I zone the hell out of you with. I wish I didn't screw up that one attack, though, the idol attack. Because I could have killed you oh, so you many times! Have, you could have wrecked me. And that's actually the first time I used use actual dive kick. Yeah, I think if you would have done that shield thing more, it would have gotten me. Because I just kept going in, and going in, and going in. Uh, yeah. It would have worked. It totally would have worked. And then, yeah, I got him right there when I screwed up. Oh, actually, really? that was the one I got right. No, you got this one right. Uh, I missed the first hit, and it screwed me over. Oh. Uh, I just don't remember. I really don't. For I some remember. reason, Risei's attack is a rhythm game. You know how flow-breaking that is? Yeah, it's kind of beautiful, though. It's insane. Is this where I remember that... Is this where I discovered that his, he now has a forward quarter circle that isn't just his uh, fucking fireball? I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, he has a forward quarter circle attack in this game now, because like in the uh, original Persona 4 he doesn't. 
where like course go forward, he will run forward and just slam his sword down with a little bit of lightning on it. What does that shield even do? Just absorbs a hit? Probably absorbs hits, yeah. So let's just absorbs start... ordinary hits, yeah. And maybe projectiles. Which I never fired, so Freaking hell. Yeah. That was like the one time I think I just said fuck it and went YOLO super. Yeah, I don't remember, but this was tense. This was a tense moment. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. This is where we discover the punishment, right here. And I think like you dropped it. Yeah, I did. You botched this super hard, because that was Because I pressed triangle hard. instead of circle. Circle's a bit slower, so it's easier to nail. Yeah. I imagine that one does more damage if you get it right. Oh, totally. I prefer the slower one that I can actually hit. Yeah, because that's, that's how it happened. Right. You ended up taking so much time with that super, I got, like... A few hits in, and it managed to take the round. Still ended up being a loss, unfortunately. Oh well. And this is the round where you should have won. I should have. Like, I feel like if you would have stuck to Rise for the rest of those matches, it would have been really interesting. That was the first time I won the second round. Right? Mm -hmm. I don't remember if you actually win a round because you dropped so many of those supers. For some reason, I always feel bad using my best character consistently, so I tend to not do that. Yeah, for some reason. I don't know, I just feel like... I like a challenge. Yeah. If I use my best character, you're going to get bodied. Probably. Which best character is it? I don't know, I have a few. If I start using something effective that's effective against you, I try to offer something that isn't as effective. Uh, that's a fatal flaw of mine. Yeah, it is, totally. Because I'm just sitting here playing super duper serial, like... And my worst problem is I don't really know how to play anyone else. I kind of have a kanji, a little bit, and if he's on display in this video, you'll see. I don't think he is. I'm not particularly familiar with any of the characters they use. I know their moveset slightly, but I'm not masterful at how he is with you. Because, like... Oh, I don't know how much the you Ultimax version was throwing you off. Um, it really only threw me off in the sense that his combo was different. And that, no, I, um, that. I kept being afraid I'd do Thunder Naruto. And there it is again. Yeah. And, and I, I drop it again. And I oh, actually, this is one I actually got right. And oh. it didn't kill you somehow. Yeah. No, uh, part of it is that I kept being afraid I'm going to use Thunder Naruto Kami God Attack, which I can't use at all. Oh, wait, I dropped the first two. You dropped the first two, and it saved me. Oh, Fireball, right here. Right. Oh, yeah. Because you run in, and I'm just like, no. I'm surprised didn't just How go do you even it. do the fireball? Is that forward square? It's quarter circle forward and then um, oh, triangle or circle, I think. It's a persona move. I did, You hadn't used it the entire time, so I wasn't expecting yeah. that. I actually get a lot of use out of it. I probably would have gotten this. you if you didn't use that. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't just throw another X out, to be honest. And then throw the mic? Throw the mic stand out? I needed to be closer range. Oh. It only goes so far. I probably could have used my Persona's Bolt attack, but I didn't think of that because I don't use oh, it yeah. much. Which one? The spinny circle? No. Oh. This is the one where she shoots out a blast. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just her basic triangle attack. Yeah. Yeah, which round was next? I switch over to Margaret? Yeah, yeah I Margaret. Over to Margaret. I really love Margaret, but I just I don't like using her that much. She just feels a bit too good. Times. Yeah, I know what you mean when I use her later. Although you did pick Elizabeth, which was part of the. Uh, yeah, those were bad matchups. Yeah, that was a really Terrible bad matchup match for Elizabeth. Up. I literally spent one point comboing you from full screen. Like, it was not pretty. I'm spoiling the future of this video. Oh, We've man. already done that <laughs> several times. But yeah. this was a fun match, and at least. Oh, I bet if I used match. her a second time, I would have won. Totally. Especially, but I wanted to just switch up characters. Especially given that in practice, you straight up proved to me that, like, the suplex, or suplex, which I don't think you actually hit off in this, beats out my uh, EX dive. I think I beat you once with the suplex, or used it on you once. Her pokes are ridiculous. Though. Yeah. Those fucking cards she throws out, those are so. Ugh. They're grimy as hell. And she's oh, fast. I actually hit a dive kick. I forgot. This is one of the few matches where I actually hit the dive kicks. I think your teleport threw you off a bit. Oh, totally. It throws me off in a later one, too. I think. If you use Margaret again. Uh, you... No, I don't think I do. Then it was the round after this. Yeah. 
Yeah, I kind of lucked out there. Not even gonna lie. That hurt. But I survived somehow. And that was actually one of the few actual legitimate combos I did. Yeah, that's when I threw you off. Uh, no, it was the next round. Oh, I threw you off with the teleport. You did, but like, you didn't do it. You didn't throw me off. Yeah, the I jumped there and it hit me. Yeah. For some reason, I thought you still blocked when you backed up. Uh, not in the dash. Not in the dash animation, because that's motion. Uh, specific, so like, it'd be a little bit ridiculous for the back dash at least. Like, if you do the invincible dash, which I think you did there, where you press a. I probably have felt. Circle. I'd probably have felt less bitter about my loss in these five matches if it wasn't for how it ended. Oh, yeah. This end made you so salty. I think I took literally the next six matches. You did pick literally the next six matches. Rather than the next four. Yeah, next four. Because, like, yeah, you got super, super salty. And then... And then I got blood boiled near the end. Yeah. And that just made me actually play well somehow. Rather, I was toying with you too much and I let you live because I was too busy entertaining myself at this point because you were mad salty. And then it killed me. Yeah. Pretty much every time. Uh, if I was just playing strictly Margaret, I probably would have beat you all the way. Probably. Uh, I can believe it. Or it would have been Her really Her pokes even. are ridiculous. Her pokes are ridiculous? She's what? worse than... Um, uh, what's your yeah. face? What's your name? Who am I thinking? The one with the red hair. Mitsuru? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. She's worse than her in terms of poking. Oh, wait, do you win this? Yeah, I do. Oh, you do. Yeah, this is the match right. I won. Because you started really using your teleports here. Yeah, because I realized they were throwing you off a lot. Yeah. You weren't adapting to them. I probably would have been late in later sets, but for that initial round... It Every time you me. backed up, I just teleport behind you and smack you across the head. Yeah. Yeah, the one time I actually did it one more time, or not one more time, uh, what is it called? Uh, one more combo cancel? No, uh, cancel? The scully scoo thing. I think I know what you're talking about. The thing where you summon a scully crossbows after you hit. Yeah, I was desperate at this point. Do you throw me here? Yeah, you throw me. Two blacks! And it doesn't quite kill me. And then I lose. That was a really close one. That actually had me on the edge. Yeah. And now we are what? I think what most of her attacks consume HP. A lot of them do. Oh yeah. Because that's how they balance the fact that she's so good. And she here comes the help. frustration. Oh boy. The next one. No, it's not the next one. It's the oh one. yes, it was next one. You could kill versus Tomo mm -mm. That was round. That was match four. Match five was Yukiko. This was four? I thought it was three. This was four. Apparently so. Yeah, because you won the one, and then I took the next one. It was Chie Reset. Yeah, Chie, I forgot about Reset, right. I took the two in a row, and then you took that one, right. I forgot about Reset. Alright. No, you're right. I forgot about Reset. Chie, Reset, Mars, Reddit. This is the one. You just selected Yukiko. Wait, this is round four. Chie. Risei, Margaret, Adachi. Margaret. Oh yeah, Adachi. No, Chie, uh, Adachi, Risei, Margaret. That's what I was forgetting, Adachi. Man, this is some compelling-ass commentary. <laughs> we forgot what we did. <laughs> and this is... Uh, I'm so... I want to call this time, that's not fair. <sighs> uh, it's, you know, like missed execution. It happens all yeah. the time. It could have... If I didn't miss press one single button... Yep. I executed the move, but it was the slight variation of it. Yeah. Right move, wrong variation. Yeah. And this character is really great at keep away, yeah. though. Like, insanely good at it. Yeah, I straight up backed up at first, because I assumed you were going to try to aim high, and I'd slide in, and then you didn't aim high, and I was like, wait, what's he going to do now? Yeah, I literally just ate that straight up. I like how you just ran right into that. Yeah. And that was the point, and that was the match where I discovered I could actually do air fireballs. Never did it again, I don't think, actually. Oh, the Zeodyne is great for creating space. If Which is a bad idea more. against Yukiko. It's a bad idea against Yukiko, but it's smart in other situations that aren't this one. 
I think what really threw me off was that you did a drop splash when I was about to charge up my um, uh, super, and then you followed it up with a super. Yeah. Otherwise, I probably would have got you. Oh, totally. And part of it is that it didn't actually hit you for once, so you're just like, wait, hold on a minute. Because I actually spaced that one the way I wanted to. You are actually not wanting to hit me? Yeah, I wanted to land right in front of you and then combo, because I can't combo if I hit you. Oh. Uh. Like, cause I'll, it always knocks you too far back, and I can't... I think you break my persona in this one, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember doing that. I don't really remember that you kept running into my D out here. Yeah. That probably could have worked against you. Why didn't I think of doing that? Right uh, right heat of the moment. Probably. Again, same thing with reason. Oh wait, I was intending to do something else, and then I just screwed up, and I couldn't do that. Wait, you what? I was intending to uh, sit, pull you towards me, and you jumped towards me while I was activating the move. Oh, right. I thought the flames were faster, though. I thought it was based on the screen size, not where it actually started. I think it's based on where it actually started, because otherwise it'd be broken. I don't think I use a single dive kick. I love use dive kick, but I never use it. Mostly because it has a really short range, even at like super jump distance, so it's like precise. Yeah, here's where it was. Yeah. Right here. Right here! That was it. I didn't actually see it. I, I want to run the tape back. I think we activated it at the exact same time, and that's how. Okay, that makes more sense. Because the whole time you were comboing on me, I was trying to activate a move. That's what it was. Okay, that makes way more sense. He I really shouldn't have been trying to activate that yeah. there. Here's a, Ronnie got a little salty, and I felt the need to pee, so we took a break for a couple seconds here. I don't know if it's here, but there's going to be a cut. And no, I already cut. cut here. It, like, cuts right after this. It, like, stays on the victory screen. I was just simmering nope. here for, like... there it is. There's the there, cut. Yeah. It actually yeah. just did that on its own. I was actually meant to press A on the U screen while I had it after I unpaused it, but then this went straight to the character select. Yeah. Man, I was so frustrated after that. Yeah. I really wish Adachi had a shadow mode, though. That'd be nice. He doesn't? Nope. Oh, that's actually a sort of interesting. There's quite a few characters that don't. Yeah. Shadow Lavrys doesn't have a shadow mode. That's bullshit. That's because there's a shadow type Lavrys. No, that means Shadow Lavrys should turn to Shadow Shadow Lavrys and be twice as shady. I'm talking like wearing a trench coat in Central Park and be like, Hey kid, you want to buy a But two negatives is a positive, so just be regular Lavrys. Or would it? It'd be regular Lavrys with the Shadow Lavrys persona. That'd be dope. That would. God, did I, I we feel didn't like, even use Labyrinth in this one, because I don't particularly care for Labyrinth. I wish they would have just done a shadow version of all the characters, like the... Replace the Persona with the shadow from the games. Oh, yeah. So, like, what Labyrinth is. That would probably take a lot of work. Was Labyrinth even, I thought Labyrinth was a P4A original. She was. That doesn't mean it couldn't work. Yeah. And I got you with fear there because it was back in the middle. I was still too frustrated to focus. Yeah. And I was just too busy yeah. enjoying the fact that now I guess has a tiger knee in her combo. I guess the sweet in this game. Yeah, I guess got a lot better. I guess was good in the previous game and she got better in this one. I can't figure out what they did different though. Faster? I feel like she's faster. She has more combo potential because her moves are different. There's really no reason to use her Orgia mode anymore. It's actually less effective now. Really? Yeah. Oh wow, I didn't even know that. I've never actually used Orgia mode when I play her because yeah. I'm bad. Yeah, I like was really irritated for the next two rounds because I couldn't we couldn't figure out what exactly happened at the end of that last match. Oh yeah, and you were just f full to bursting with salt. Like your no your middle name should have been sodium because you were just salty as hell. Yeah, and there I just casually break your persona. And I think I do better with Igus now that I understand her new moves, because, like, before she didn't have as, mo as many options in the air, that came down like that airstrike did. Because I literally timed a couple of my different combos around the idea of that. Yeah, there you start going, and then, uh, what happens? What happens to make me turn this around? 
I think you got a combo off on me and locked me down. Like, oh, I know. Oh, you actually won that one because I was confused by the super. Oh, yeah, because they were someone up here behind you. Yeah. And I thought it was like, uh, use uh, Zeodyne in P4-1, or P4-A-1. Where if your opponent is between you and the Persona, you're just, you wasted the super. Oh. Because do you remember that from Persona 4 Arena 1? You didn't play him in Persona 4 Arena 1. No, I didn't like one. using him in that game. He's much more playable here, but I still don't really like him. Oh, I like I like him. I like the dive kicks. I wonder why his throw doesn't work if you're on the ground in this game. Normally a grab will reach you if you're on the ground, I thought. Oh, uh, no. Actually, no, they don't. You can combo other moves on the ground. To your opponent, but not you can't throw around an opponent. That'd be broken. Because his throws are already unblockable. That's just too much. That was How like a you, serendipitous dash. You really shouldn't have been able to avoid that because you were locked into a combo. No, I think I wasn't. I dashed actually. Yeah, I you hadn't pressed dash anything. In a combo. I hadn't pressed anything yet. Oh. I just kind of lucked out, and the dash happened to work. You normally can't dash out of a combo, though. That's mm -hmm. why I was thrown off by it. I hadn't, no, I hadn't comboed anything. My combo ended because... I had comboed. You had comboed? Yeah, that's what I was doing. And then you somehow escaped it. Let's go look at the guidebook. I feel like the guidebook will have the answer. Fuck, where is it? I mean, that's I really shouldn't have dropped that. I don't think you did no. drop it. So I feel like it's a new mechanic, a new defensive mechanic. If that were true, then I should have been able to escape most of your combos. I don't know. I have tried that several times and that should do I work. pretend to know? Is it in the case? Bollocks. Didn't you just, like, place it on the bed? Oh. Yeah. Whoops. May or may not have turned the fan off also. And so began the frustration. Yep. Yeah. Man, I guess it's adorable. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, I hope I didn't give you lead poisoning, because you just go, oh, like... I think I used too many bullets. Damn it, dang it. Where did you put it? Did you bring it down the stairs or something? No. It's not under the sheets? That makes no sense. Oh, you had it on the bed. Yeah, I did. This is obnoxious as hell. We're just killing time between... Oh. Right there, I want to see if there was a Shadow Labyrinth. A Shadow Shadow Labyrinth. There's not. Who did I switch? Oh yeah, I used Junpei. And I tried And Marie. I somehow lost to Marie. That disappointed me a bit. Because she's actually really difficult to use. Oh yeah, she is a twos as hell. I figured out one move the entire time. That was like, oh, I did. I think you auto-comboed me the whole time. Oh, I auto-comboed you plus that one move. What one move? She, the, oh, she, the overhead bag, bag swing is not a combo move. It's uh, an actual unique oh, right, special. Right. Damn it, dang it, where did that go? Remember kids, when playing a fighting game, don't get simmered or else you're gonna fuck up. Yeah, yeah. totally. Anger is the mind killer. Actually, no, just being better and down, because being angry can't help. Like in later two round matches, I won. No, because if I was smart enough, I would have played you way better. But alas, I am not. Man, this is going to sound really weird, because I'm just moving all over your room. I can't figure out what type of character Marie's supposed to be. Probably the type that, like, assaults you. I, I don't know. I couldn't say. That involves a degree of knowledge. Oh, it fell. Here it is. Hey, how do you feel about the new systems like shadow types and uh, normal? Oh, they're totally interesting. And uh, they add a lot of dynamic to the game. Especially the idea of shadows always having their shit ready. Having all the moves active? Yeah, because yeah, normally uh, you can only use certain moves if your health falls below a certain point for those that yeah. are not in the now. What are you looking at? I'm trying to find it because I feel like it's in here. But there's a thing that will explain it. Uh, I feel like there's a thing. I feel like there's a thing. Oh, we both broke each other's persona at that instance. Oh, okay. Here's what it is. Oh, was it? Wait, no, that's not it. 
I don't see how you could have escaped out of that attack like that. Oh, okay. What it was is that you can go from a block to a dodge, but it costs you 50 SP. You weren't even blocking. I was. No, you weren't. Not doing that. I like we had you getting hit. So you shouldn't have been able to escape. Maybe the hit didn't confirm. I can't... I don't know. Something is... No, the hits weren't confirming. I you in like three hits into the combo. I was trying to finish it up with a heat riser, and then I missed. Because you dodged somehow. Yeah, I think because... Maybe it wasn't a natural cancel or something. I don't know. It was a super cancel. Oh, I missed. And you missed that, like, several times. You see the other reason I actually survived? Because, God, her super is garbage. Yeah. Um... Oh, we're over halfway through. That yeah, really felt like a short play session. Mostly because we were focused on that first of and that first of three, which changed everything. It's a shame I didn't get to yeah. join the post matches just because of how frustrated I was from oh, the yeah. loss. That losing because of a mispress. Yeah, like that right there was the purse attack, the overhead. Hmm. One of the handful of times I hit it. Dude, that animation looks so much better with missing frames. So much. better. Yeah, but it's also a lot faster. That's part of the fun. It not makes us look decent. Not when you're actually playing the game, dude. God. <laughs> God, if this game was really that fast, because I'm imagining it's going at like 15 frames, maybe 20. Oh, jeez, it'd be brutal. I feel like they should have added more frames to the animation in this game. Oh, they totally should have. Because they could have smoothed out some of the old animations, but they didn't. I mean, on the bright side, they added a bunch of new mechanics. But... And new characters. Like, double the roster. Yeah. Uh, I definitely appreciate that. I don't I don't know. think you've once tried a dodgy, though. You're going to have to do that later after we finish recording this commentary. Yeah, probably. Oh, this is our pick you three, right. And you choose Akihiko? No, Ken and... Oh. I think it, yeah, that was a horrible choice. I knew I was terrible with him. I didn't. I had nary an idea. I just don't know a good counter for Yukari, since she's a zoning character. Um, either someone who zones harder or someone who can get in really well. Akihiko is probably a really good counter because of his dodge, his weave, his dip and weave mechanic, because um, then you can just weave out of my in and out of my arrows till you're into hit me, because she probably doesn't have much health. I'm not good enough with Akihiko to do that. And again, lots of super jumps and air dashes to get in. Because all of almost every one of my air arrows actually aims down, so I can't hit you in the air with the arrows for the most part. I was actually trying to use this match to figure out Kanemon, but I remember I forgot that I was still angry, so it didn't work out there. Anymore. It didn't. It doesn't help that he controls really weird. Yeah, because you control the two characters, and it's bizarre. I mean, you mainly just control Ken. Seriously. Although, does he do the dog deal damage to Ken, or no? Or is Ken the person you have to actually hit? He, Ken's the person you have to hit. Koromaru has his own health bar. He does? Yeah, see? It's like right above the SP bar. Oh! That's his health bar. Yeah. So you can just take out Koromaru without actually hitting Ken. Yeah, good luck with that. That's a waste of effort. Usually. Oh yeah. Maybe in I higher level is. play, but not. It probably really matters in higher level play because then you're. And then you can plus circle to send Koromaru out of the arena and he'll recover health, yeah. and then you bring him back in the triangle. Yeah, you did that a lot. Well, I don't really know how Koromaru works aside from that. Yeah. I'm used uh, to pressing circle to use a persona, but I. Yeah. There's no uh, quarter circle circle. I mean that uh, quarter. Circle forward? Yeah. Backward. Yeah, for Kodomaru's buttons. Oh. So I was trying to do that. And God, send, that you know, was frustrating as hell. When yeah. I missed that air super and I was like, I'm going to be a cool guy and this is going to look awesome. Air super! Nope. Uh-uh. Can't have that. Yeah, that I made the mistake of picking the wrong button. And, uh, yeah. Yukari's actually really fun. She's super duper obtuse and kind of slow, but she's really fun. She's not more obtuse than Marie, though. Oh, no. Definitely not more obtuse than Marie. She's pretty straightforward with her, you know, arrows, at least. Her fucking bomb. 
probably really useful as a zoning tool. Kinemana has a pretty nice scrap, I think. Yeah. And that fucking pull-in with the spear is ridiculous when you actually use it. That is a really tall middle school student. No, he's not middle school anymore, Yeah, is he? he is. Is it like three years He's a middle year? school, so... He was in elementary school when he compared to some of the way. I don't know, my brother's 14 and taller than I am. I can they say that. he's in middle school, so... Oh, I missed that, I guess. Look at that sad toku bomb just floating down, never to hit anyone. He's probably about as tall as Narukami. Uh, I don't know. Narukami's easy to be one of the taller characters aside from Kanji. Yeah. Why are we talking about character fight? Because, uh, I don't know, you're, you were too busy being salty to really enjoy these matches, so they're not as fun on the whole, because you don't have as much fun. I have a time because I'm interested in uh, watching your anger, but that's entirely different from bros playing a video game. Oh, here's where I just start zoning. Here is where I zone. I even tried dashing through it, which normally worked, but it didn't there. Basically, I caught you on the tail end of it. And then I put the super in the wrong direction, and it nearly kills me. Somehow that attack missed. Yeah. That infinite air is ridiculous. Infinite air? Yeah. Air old uh, rotation thing. Oh, okay. Tensile Sentai, go, soldier, what up, all? Neo Featherman! Wait, oh, you and your gotchamon. No. Uh, I refuse, I guess. I don't know, that's what she is. She's Neo Featherman. Really? Yeah, see? She's actually in a TV show in the universe. Yeah, I know. Which means when you dress Yukiko up in the Featherman costume in Persona 4 Golden, you're having her cosplay as Yukari. Basically. In her costume for a TV show. Basically. What is this? Oh, <laughs> this is where we check on the Super, because you were curious to see who Super should have won. Yeah, I wanted to figure out what had happened there. And I remembered what button input I put. I was trying to figure that out. Well, I kind of just let this loss go. Yeah. I should have tried, but the first round was just a given anyway. Yeah, the first round was literally boiled down to, it was kind of a toss-up. I sort of lucked out, and apparently you had, like, a pixel less health than I did. I just realized we could have still had a full match on this if you had just wailed on me to low health. I used D as her recover, and then you'd still gain SP for your move, and I'd still gain SP for mine. Fuck, you're right. Oh well. I was too angry to think. And I didn't know how the characters work, so I never would have thought of it. Yeah, but if you're gonna use a shadow type character, I recommend going with the ones that have a lot of SP moves. Like Yukiko and well Margaret doesn't have any shadow type, so mostly just Yukiko. Yukiko got a lot better in this game compared Especially to the original type. arena. Oh my gosh, she got so much better. Because all of her moves do things and are important, instead of some moves just kind of being there. Man, I don't use kanji at all, I realize. In nope. the recording. No, you did not. Because I think I got distracted, and I was trying all the different characters. Now I can't really blame you. Like, the only thing I'm sad about is I think I used Margaret, who we'd already featured. And this is where we tried it no. out. Yeah, the flames the are coming. Flames, yeah, they, they appear on screen. And they just kind of stopped once you hit me. Yeah. That was you just paused it. You paused it because you were, like, baffled. And straight baffled. And here we try a couple different things. Because, you know, I have the SP and he has the SP. So I think we try the forward one now, yeah? Yeah, we tried the forward one. See if that one would have gotten better results. Basically. And yeah, this was interesting. I don't even actually get the input in because it's so much faster. Well, I guess now I know for the future. Yeah. Uh, that was a frustrating loss just because I pressed one wrong. The difference between those moves, they're both quarter circle forward, but one's triangle and one's circle. Circle is the inward blast and triangle is the outward. So that was all kinds of frustrating. I probably should have gone for... I don't even know why I didn't go for the triangle since you were right up close on me for like five seconds. But I couldn't tell you. Oh, we actually timed out here. Yeah, we timer scammed because I was like, wait, let me try Narukami Thunder God and I didn't get it off. You wouldn't have gotten it off anyway. Shut up, I would have tried. It would have been awesome. And here we do this round semi-seriously, but he's just too sad. 
I was. That match really took a hot out of me. It did. And you just kept going at me with that stupid bolt. That was annoying as hell. Well, the fall of lightning, the fireball, which I finally started using like a fireball. <laughs> What type of character is Naruto Megan? Oh, uh, he's a he's an all-around character. You can use him to rush people down. You can play Lamer as I did earlier in the round because I can just spam fireballs. And then you can actually go in because the slide has a low profile if I remember. So you can low profile another ranged character like Yukiko and get in if I'm correct. We didn't test it because I didn't think about it. At well, the right time. there, I learned that you can't hit an opponent who's in a recovery state. Yeah. Yukiko, why do you hold that pose even after the attack song's on? I don't know. Because it's cool, I guess. She has really good keep yeah. away, though, now. Yeah. It's and cute. that was the first time you used the diagonal fans really well. Because before you didn't really use them, like... The I mean, diagonal fans really would have made a difference, too. Because then you're canceling out my ability to really get in the air. Well, your air moves have a really weird angle, and I can't hit at that most of the time. That's not the point, though. Literally, just putting them out there makes me realize, no, you're aware of it, so I can't do it. On the off chance you're correct. That's the entire point, because then you get into it psychologically, and you're making me respect your knowledge of uh, use aerial game, and you're also preparing on the off chance I do attempt to go in via the air, and it's just a good thing to lock me down, because now I'm forced to attempt to stick to the ground, which changes the way I think about the character. And I think after the next round, I mean, after the next match, I start to get back into it a bit. Mostly because I made you Although really I, mad. To the point that I actually came right back around and started being good again. Basically. That's the thing about anger, it'll fuck you up early on in the stages, but after you uh, simmer down, you'll, oh, yeah, your this blood is, will boil and then... Yeah, this is Margaret v. Elizabeth. Oh, right, right. You wanted to try Margaret, so I was like, oh, let's try the Velvet Room battle. This is a stupid idea. Yeah, it was a pretty cool idea, visually. Visually, but... In practice, terrible. You did pretty good. I mean, it really boils down to Margaret's the better character. You can poke the fuck out of Thanatos. Yeah. Margaret's the better character. Yeah, I think I actually broke your persona at least twice. Mm-hmm. It's hard to do things. I mean, they both have a ton of persona cards. Oh, yeah. God, that's the worst part Margaret of fighting Margaret. Margaret has like eight. Margaret. That is literally the worst part of fighting her. And why it, you just can't like, break her persona. It's so difficult. On the bright side, if you break it, it you're takes gold. Forever to break. Yeah. Well, she can still teleport without Persona. She can teleport without a and Persona. And she can still poke without the Persona. But she can't do much else. She can suplex without the Persona. But that's the thing. She has her teleport, her pokes, and her suplex. That that's is it. plenty. The suplex is godly. Oh, yeah. I, I, I so hard to boot suplex in the last round of this match. It's beautiful when it works. Oh, yeah. Especially when it works to actually end the round. Like, I, yeah, I confused myself right there. Because I didn't expect the cards to be the neutral square button attack. Where do you think this cards were? I don't know. I thought it was an actual special you had to work towards. Nope. So I'm sitting here like... That's an insane range, isn't it? Yeah. It's like half the screen, right? A uh, little less than half screen, actually. It's wider than uh, Mitsuri's. It is? I think so. That's bizarre. What was that? I don't even. I was trying to do a certain move, but it kept activating the power rising. Oh, uh, like it was a button that changed between games. Yeah. Yeah. And again, you can apparently do combos from full screen with Margaret, like Yukiko, which means she has a great keep away game on top of her ability to get in your face. Well, get in your face. She's still like two feet from it, but I mean, God, I love the way they changed Elizabeth's combo. Though. It looks so much prettier. You don't use Elizabeth standing uh, strong much at all. Every time I tried to, you just broke it. You just poked it every time. Well, no, at this point, I'm just full screening you, and then I'm like, I should go in and make this fun, and you throw me immediately. That is a throw, yeah? Yeah. And I tried to get you with, uh, that was the wrong move. The hype laser? I tried to get you with the insta kill. Oh. I, tried to lure you, I tried to lure you in. And I was like, no. Didn't I get you with that once? No. Like in the that... last ba last procrastinate? Oh, no. You did a... We let you... I let you do Nowados. Because you oh, actually yeah, got, like, we actually got a zero. zero. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Right here, I'm trying entirely for the suplex. She texts my throw? Oh no, she texts my throw a couple other times. I love the suplex. It's beautiful. But I can't tell, is Monroe a bit overpowered? No. I mean, she takes more hits than Yukiko, and she's more powerful, too, and faster. Oh, so. she's not. You can beat her. It's a thing where, to us, because we are scrubs, she's ridiculous. But anyone who really knows what they're doing can probably neutralize a lot of her stuff. But she does have more health than you can. She I does. She does, but she can't heal. Yes, yeah, she can. She can? Yeah. It just has a charge up period. Oh. So it's not really worth using. You must have in higher level play, probably. It's like it never once gotten it off. And here I think we're, I'm debating on characters. You I are think Kyle's starting to take it a bit more seriously yeah. now. That's Here you saw the levels are reaching their peak, and I was like, oh wait, I should try Risei, because I've already played as Kanji, forgetting that Kanji hasn't appeared in the video. Although this leads to probably what is my favorite round to play, even though I lost. I still find Marie is a weird inclusion. Uh, isn't she important in Golden? She was, in, she was a character in it, but she was not playable, nor was she support. Wasn't she important to the plot, though? Yes. I think that's why she was included. She was a boss fight, I think. Yeah, I think that's why she was included, because she was important to the plot, and, you know, they already had visual design stuff for her. Because, I mean, they exhausted a lot of Persona 3's interesting characters in the entire protagonist cast of Persona 4, so... It makes sense, a little. Is I quite like Show Me Now now. I've gotten the hang of them. You just don't have to worry about your persona breaking. He has no persona! That's true. Although, how does he have a burst without a persona? Uh, probably force of will, I imagine. Maybe. I tried to give you some teleports, but those didn't seem to want to yeah. work, because he has a brief pause before he can do anything for some reason. Yeah. You get mad salty during this match, and I take a super duper advantage. I either lost this round and came back the second one, You lost I... this one. You lost this one because I keep throwing that out, and you keep running face first into it. I hit you with that. I did win this match, though, right? I yeah. think I did. I was starting to get really pissed off. Yeah, I hit you with that spin. Because I remembered seeing the six wins, and I was like, this is really aggravating. I know yeah. I gave one of those away. Yeah. This like, is just... That circle, I hit you with it at least like 12 times. I hit you with that thing a lot. And now there's a really bizarre ringing in my ears. Telling you, Mr. Oh yeah, this is where I turned it around somehow. Yeah. This is where you turned it around because I'm too busy dicking around to care. Because I'm just enjoying reading you for Phil. Like show is an insane rushdown character. Yeah. And there, I actually mis 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 uh, understood the spacing on that. What that are you trying one, to do? That one disc when you jumped in the first time. I missed the spacing on it and I couldn't bring it back. Cause I'm just I'm just playing. I'm just throwing out the discs because I'm having too much fun, and I really want to kill wanted to kill you with it just to piss you off. Are you actively trying to piss me off? Oh, because it was fun to try to read you the anger. Because uh, I was playing mind games, and the angrier you got, the more you just straight up rushed in. As evidenced by the fact that I hit you with that disc like 15 times in this match. But you didn't take into account that my reflexes get better the angrier I get. Oh no, I didn't even care. I was just playing. That ring got me a lot. Yeah, that ring got you a lot. Which is what I was playing with, basically. Because I don't know how to actually use Resay. I try to avoid auto-comboing. Oh, uh, yeah. So, auto-comboing is, like, all I do because I don't know how to actually play the game. In terms of, like, how all the characters work and stuff to get good combos in. So I'm just like, I'm going to press these buttons because that's about all I can actually do to do anything useful. I just don't like auto-comboing because it gets too repetitive. That aggravated me a bit. Yeah. And then I, I started locking so you down again. Yeah, no. I was so annoyed that I had I was like one SP away from actively outright killing you that it threw off my game. And again, I'm trying to kill you with the disc. I am trying my absolute hardest to use that disc to end the round. Why? To increase your salt levels, basically. Why, why were you trying to make me angry? Why? Because at this point, I realized we were close to the end of the hour. And so I was just like, you know what? Let's just keep pumping salt. Let's just keep pumping salt into this guy and see where it goes. 
And somehow I'm ended up beating the show, the character I have the hardest time beating. Yeah. Mostly because I don't Even know though I was using my absolute worst character aside from Kanji, I managed yeah. to beat show. I don't know even know how to play show, which is part of it. If I was given probably another twenty minutes with show, that that match would have gone entirely differently. Probably. Oh yeah, this is oh this is the match where I start trolling you super hard with neutral jumps. Because I won an entire round due to the power of you getting fucked up by neutral jumps. I don't even know what a neutral jump is. It's a jump just just straight up. I didn't and I didn't go any direction and I didn't press any buttons. It is a the most neutral jump. And that was me debating on whether I should use Shadow type or not, and I was like, eh, fuck it, he can take more damage. Yeah. That's mostly the reason I use Shadow types as damage. Yeah. Unless it's Yugi Cow, in which case I use it for SP. And damage. Wait, take more damage? Yeah, or? you can take more hits as Shadow oh, type. Okay. But you also deal less damage. Which is. Yeah. And having, you know, full screen supers the entire match is really convenient. Yeah. I don't think you, you hit me with it once this entire set too. I was hoping you'd slip up at least once. Nah. I used it like four times in a row. Yeah. <laughs> you activated shadow and just went full screen, full screen, full screen, full screen. That was beautiful. And I picked Spooky so Ghost they, Zambi. What type of character is Akihiko anyway? He's a boxer, straight up. He has a machine gun blow and a sure you can. A couple good follow ups to his machine gun blow because this is an anime fighter and the machine gun blow isn't enough. Boxer um, is actually a type of character in fighting games? Yeah, dude. Oh. Well, it's, it's like Boxer is a type of subset of Rushdown because it's like they rely entirely on punches. They box. They normally have lot moves that that let them dash in quickly, either by avoiding projectiles or by simply moving quickly, like the machine gun blow, or you know a good old fashioned Barog style dash punch. They box. Yeah, because you basically build SP and wait for. Yeah. Also, my defensive game not as good as it used to be, because uh. The first time, uh, back when we first started playing this, my defensive game was much better because I played on pad. So I didn't go in as hard. But when I play on stick, I'm a lot more offensive. I think when they announce another Persona Arena game, we should do another, uh, mini tournament thing. Yeah. I'm down. Hell, and then just watch us tie again. That'd be interesting. Hell, I think we should just pick another fighting game. That's easy-ish. Or oh, fun. Smash Bros. is coming out. Yeah. We could, like, do Brawl before we do Wii U. You have Brawl, yeah. That'd be pretty fun, I guess. I'm probably gonna use the hell out of Samus. I'm not that big on using diverse characters in Smash Bros. Oh, neither am I. I'd probably stick to more. I also like Ike. Yeah. Ike's pretty good. We'd have to have a, a mirror Ike battle at some point to see who has the better Ike. Oh, God. Brawl is slow. Oh, it looks like we got a good balance with the new one. Oh, yeah, totally. The new one is, a. Uh, it's not as fast as, ridiculously fast as Melee, but it makes up for it. Like, look at, look at these beautiful neutral jumps. You're just, that are just messing with your mind. I mean, I'm dying. Oh, no, you're first player. Oh, I know I didn't lose here. Fairly certain you did. No, I won the match. Yeah, but you might, I went to round three. I won the first one? Yeah. How? I wasn't paying attention. You, you beat me. You beat me. Because uh -huh. I didn't, uh... Because your ability to throw out the full screen fucked with me. And look at me, I'm just neutral jumping. You started figuring out my neutral jump game. Kind of. I think I was too angry to think about it after play. Yeah, you started noticing it right, right there at the very tail end. Because like, that was like half of my victories, was taking advantage of the fact that you expected me to do something, and I just didn't. Especially because I played as you so much. Who and then I grabbed you in the yeah. air and just yeah. boom. And See? then you kind of just stopped doing it. Yeah. I realized you were aware of my air neutral jumps, so I quit. I wasn't even aware that I was aware of it. I was just getting annoyed. Yeah, actually, exactly. You took notice of it and you did something. Didn't Although I did get a good neutral jump in there. But I only really went in for it because I had Awakening and I had enough SP to get a super if I combo. What does that move even do, the Rocky Kiko does for you? It's like that flex and then he throws... It's a counter. Person. He has a really short window, doesn't he? Yeah. 
because it's a really fast game. Yeah, that's the one time you get me with full screen because you combo into it. And then I like take you out with this uh, overhead, right? Uh, I don't remember. And then you like zoom in. Yeah. Boom. I accidentally zoomed in because I didn't know how that 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 move did that. And I, I actually like, didn't intend on doing it that way. Yeah, because like he has he throws something, and I couldn't figure out what the button was for the life of me. Well, I think this video is about to end. So it is. We uh, have a good night, internet. I yeah. don't remember when this ends, but well, I know it's be soon. be back with a subgenre series on Air Dashers. If he gets to writing it. I will. Persona 4 Arena is an Air Dasher. It's in the video. It's going to be Blaz Blue and Persona 4 Arena and such. Oh, oh. loop. Darn. Let's okay. do this again and just loop it. All oh, right. Let's make this a two-hour procrastinate now. Uh, uh, but okay. Okay. it's more let's use the loop again. You know, continuity and junk. Shit. Night, internet. Have a good night.